So this possibly is one of the most desolate train stations we've ever seen. <laughs> really third world. No coffee. No, no nothing. But uh, let's see. So yeah, everybody else took a taxi. But we hate taking taxis in foreign countries. They always try and rip you off, or rip us off. And then, yeah, look at those mountains that we're planning to hike along. All thunderstormy. We're here in Podgorica, and we spent probably two hours yesterday, and at least two hours today, looking for a gas canister that would work Something without like a gas this, can. But without the press fit. Yeah, these, these are Pierce only. There are three types. There's the Pierce only, there's the French camping gas star, which is twist and click, and then there's the screw-on type. And everywhere we've looked, we haven't been able to find a screw-on type. But today, this morning, I brought my jet boil stove part, and we were looking in this Okov hardware store. So in this Okov hardware store, they have the Pierce type gas, these guys, and then they have a random kind of selection of other gas types. And I looked at this one and I go, hmm. I looked through the black cap, which was difficult to get off. And I thought, oh, that looks threaded. So fortunately, we brought the stove with us. And it works. Voila. Unbelievable. Voila. That's good. That's good. That's great. All right. <laughs> so they got three of them. So we're going to buy all three because it was no. so difficult to find these. We might never find any again. And we're here for six weeks. So, oh my God, that's one problem solved. Yay. Next problem is we have a SIM card that works for data, but no voice. And I can't figure out how to make phone calls in Montenegro using Skype. And anyway, it's 23 cents a minute, which is pretty steep. So oh, it's just an adventure, learning all the ways of this country. And uh, the first bank I tried wouldn't accept Visa cards, so we haven't been able to get any Euros yet, except for the ones that we brought with us. Shorty just wants to check out this from. Orthodox temple in the middle of Podgorica. Yeah. How do we get in? First Is it? I thought they had Orthodox temples in San Diego. Did they have it in Bucharest? Well, we got our gas for the stove, and we managed to withdraw euros from a from a hole in the wall ATM. <laughs> so that's where it went, just straight into the wall. No, I got the I got the euros. So now we're walking through the middle of Podgorica, back to our hotel. That's a beautiful river. Color is so beautiful. Yeah, so Podgorica seems like on the west side of the town is modern. But on the east side of the town where our hotel, the train station, the bus station is, it's all like communist era, all high rise apartment buildings, battleship grey. But yeah. So it's a mix of the old and the new. Here's a river that runs through the center of Podgorica. With an M. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Some bizarre Serbian name probably. Yeah, so things are looking up. I was pretty depressed yesterday yeah, when I came So modern here down. they even have a elevator to take the old people down to the river level. How thoughtful. Well, we went to the Entel store and sorted out our SIM card so we can actually use the phone to make phone calls. It's expensive here in Montenegro, 17 cents a minute. Whew. No wonder people use Wi-Fi calling. I can get Skype to work here. We're heading back to our hotel after a successful morning of shopping. Those thunderclouds are building up. It's just like the Pyrenees, every afternoon there's going to be a thunderstorm. Oh boy. Here is the entrance to Podgorica's train station. Can't get the tickets today for tomorrow's train. Nay, nay. 
No, no. Nay, nay, comrade. <laughs> Tomorrow. We, we have okay. a Montenegro breakfast. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Morning. 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 Morning.
Mountain Bar on our beautiful train. Nice train journey. Oh, here's the apartment we booked in Bar. Apartment Inez. He said he left the key in the flower pot and we'll see it. Well, <laughs> let's look together. There's a lot of flower pots. I see the key. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, nice, nicely appointed apartment. Mm. Only yeah. 44 euros. Kitchen. But I think we'll go and try some seafood dinner tonight. Perfect. Is that our key? I think so. There's an Oakhoff store in bar, so uh, curious to find out whether or not they have any gas cylinders. It's only a five minute walk from apartment Inez. Okay, this Oakhoff has a few butane canisters which I have an adapter for but it's back home in San Diego but yeah we could refill the screw top types and the butane types with the correct adapter. But yeah, uh, this is a nicer rolly than the one in Podgorica. They got everything here. It's fabulous. Maybe. Oh, they have everything here. What a great store. And the seafood, including Orada, our favorite Adriatic fish. Oh, yeah. I think we'll come back here and make our own dinner. Argentina. The street dogs all hang out during the day sleeping and at night they wake up and start barking all night long to keep everybody awake. Walking to the pier on the Adriatic. Oh, bar's a lot nicer than Podgorica. Much yeah. less traffic, much more laid back. Better Voli supermarket. No gas there. Nice park here on the left. A lot of green space. And oh, it looks like military ships fend off the Russians, no doubt. And an old frigate. Oh, that looks like an English ship, or maybe a Spanish galleon. Oh. Fixing so this is the harbour at the bar. Yeah, right. Well, I figured we'd walk to that lighthouse and then go back. We almost made it to the lighthouse. Don't know if it's worth clambering out there. View won't be any different from here. Uh oh, these you guys coming after us. Beautiful day. A little bit warm and humid down here, but not bad. Approaching the edge of this pier and it's lighthouse. It's quite the view we got around us. Black fish. What shirt are you looking at? Oh, just spectacular day. The seaside Porta Bar. Oh, and a little mermaid. Back there is a Rumija. That's uh, an option on the first day. There's a 6,000 foot climb to there. So I don't know. We might uh, be content with a 4,000 foot climb, head to the ridge to the north of the, north of the, or west of the, and uh, then continue on entering maybe the beginning of stage two, because the day after tomorrow it's supposed to thunderstorm a lot, and we might want to bail down to Bar again, there's a road we can probably get a taxi down. <laughs> 